What is up guys? Welcome to Baitman TV. I am at the East Tennessee Fishing Expo. This is one of the largest events in the South. If you love to bass fish and if you love baits like me, this is the place to be. I'm gonna take you guys a little tour of some really cool vendors I've seen while I'm up here, some vendors you know about, and, and show off some baits and some really cool stuff. I'm actually over at the Hog Farmer booth right now. I've been up here all morning and helping my buddy Scott sell some of the best A-Rigs on the planet. He's also got some other cool baits you may not have seen before. So I'm gonna walk you through that. And then we're gonna go take a tour through the expo of the coolest of the cool that is Baitman approved. I've already picked up some really awesome stuff. I can't wait to show you guys. So my buddy Tristan is gonna help us out. Tristan is the state champion high school fisherman in Kentucky last year. So he's gonna be my hand model and uh, show you all these cool baits. So the first bait I'm going to show you is the Hog Farmer Spunk Shad. All right, this is their 5.5 uh, Spunk Shad. Works great on the trailer for almost any bait. Great universal bait, whether that's a chatter bait, a spinner bait, even on the back of one of their trimmer heads, just an all-around. Just look at that action right there. Look at that. You can't beat it. So you guys know that Scott at Hog Farmer makes the best A-Rigs on the planet. We had some with Chartreuse Blades, Bateman Special, they are gone. But he also makes awesome hair jigs, stand-up hair jigs, spunk sheds, and these right here, these are the new Hog Farmer stand-up Ned Rig, which you can put that small uh, 3.25 uh, spunk shed on. Look at here, Scott's gonna photobomb me. That's what it looks like on that Ned head. This is the guy that makes the best A-Rigs on the planet. So get on Hog Farmer's website, hogfarmerbaitcompany.com. Hogfarmerbaits.com. Hogfarmerbaits.com. Make an order. Say, I'm sub to the bait man. He'll get you taken care of. He might throw you a special goodie in there. Uh, all American-made stuff, the best product, uh, premium components. And, uh, you know, Scott's a good guy. He takes care of me. I take care of him. He's got some awesome underspins, the war pig. And, dude, the hog wobblers. Scrounger guys, you know about the hog wobble. So I'm gonna get to moving on, some more stuff to show, dude. You guys see this booth, it's got the coolest spinner baits I've ever seen. As I've moved on to the infamous Spot Sticker Baits booth here at the East Tennessee Fishing Show. Owner Ryan Coleman, I've known him for a long time. He makes one of the best custom spinner baits on the planet. So if you're around the Lanier area in Georgia, you know about these. Uh, they've always had kind of a cult following on the message boards. Uh, but Ron comes to these shows and he has got a plethora of spinner baits. You'll see all these behind me. And, and let's just go look at these. This is the really famous mini me. And check out this color. You know, I love me some purple. Painted blades on this guy. But the cool thing about the mini me, it's got this hidden weight back here. So it allows you to burn this spinner bait. It is super popular on those spotted bass lakes. It's great on Kentucky Lake too. But he's got so many awesome colors. I mean, look at this. Straight up bubble gum. You know, like, you know they'll bite that. Jane's about this thing. But that's the mini me. And then he's got uh, some other shad head style spinner baits. A little bit different profile. Ledge guys, like slow roll that old Stanley wedge. This right here. And so he paints a lot of these blades and puts flake in them, just like Nichols and some other companies. But uh, he's now doing a blade that is a premium flash blade on a spinner bait. Look how bright those things are. But if you need any color and any blade combination, this is the guy you need to look up. Uh, spot sticker baits. And I'll tell you what else he's got. He's got an awesome night spinner bait. Look at this guy right here. Would you look at that? Now that is juice right there. And uh, he's got a website, spotstickerbaits.com. Uh, you can look them up and grab any of this stuff. The cool thing he also has is a custom uh, football jig mold for throwing your Kitex soft plastics on. And he makes his own swim bait and hand for worms for you shaky head guys. And he's kind of the original shaky head guy. And these are the spot sticker original shaky heads right here. Now there's no keeper, no screw lock or anything like that. 
you're going to have a good wide hook gap in this super sharp hook all right guys we're in a new booth this is a really cool booth this is like a tackle store inside a tackle show i'm here with mckee outdoors he's from east tennessee he's got a store right here around knoxville but one thing he has got that nobody in the country has yet is this bait right here this is the mega bass vision 110 plus two not plus one plus two this is the ultra deep diving new mega bass jerk bait so if you want to get down there even deeper catch those suspended bass on a jerk plug this is the one you need to be throwing brand new just came out i have snagged a couple for myself hopefully the wife doesn't kill me you know i had to get my chartreuse and purple for sure uh, that's table rock sp and then this one right here pro blue clearwater lake guys this is a killer color again right now this is the only place you can find these baits they're shipping to other dealers uh, you can look mckee outdoors up on facebook uh, send matt a message he has amazing customer service he'll take care of you he'll have a booth at the classic as well that's here in knoxville and you know your boy will be here in big orange country this is another new bait for mega bass this is the big m40 that is a big square bill i mean you have to catch janks on this thing right here so other dealers will be getting these soon this has got some really loud rattles in it uh, i'm gonna have to throw one of these baits but uh, i snagged me a couple of new visions so let's take a look what else we got over here uh, this is actually ryan he's from mega bass he's educating all these customers on the new mega bass baits and this is a, a great jerk bait seen ben milliken talk about this is the it is kanata i want to call it the katana but it's the kanata it's a bigger style jerk bait that many people throw you're going to trigger a lot bigger bites with this i know some guys saw skeet reach though the big lucky craft slender pointer on kentucky lake this right here this is the same style it catches really big fish but uh, lots of cool stuff uh cyclones through this booth it's got tackle i love tackle so let's let's keep on going around here uh they do have the new rattle trap mr6s too let's go check them things out let's see where they're at yep yeah, right here mr6 from bill lewis it's an awesome bait uh a lot of people pre-order these on Tackle Warehouse. They're just now shipping. But uh, this spring, Kentucky Lake, Tennessee River guys that throw that DT6 and the shallow pig gravel points, 45 degree banks. You're really gonna like this bait right here. It does have some reds left. I snagged a few for myself as well, right there. So that's the new MR6 from Rattle Trap. I tell you what's cool when you come to these shows, you meet a lot of people that's got YouTube channels, you get people that meet you as I want to say hi. Well, this guy right here behind me, he just come up to, we had a great conversation. I'm gonna give him a shout out. Subscribe to his channel, B Fishing. He's in South Alabama. And you know, I'm a Tennessee guy. It takes a lot for me to get along with Alabama fans, but he passes the test. So make sure you sub this guy's channel. He's got a lot of great fishing content. And uh, go over there, watch his videos, tell him the bait man sent you. Guys, I'm going to have to talk a little bit louder than usual because this place is bonkers. It is so packed at the East Tennessee Fishing Show. But one thing I want to touch on behind me, this right here, the new Berkeley Hollow Belly Swim Baits. I got to test these back in the summer. Uh, my friend hooked me up with a couple packs. The 6-inch is back, and this thing swims awesome. So you're going to see the Berkeley Hollow Belly on the Baitman channel a lot this year. Uh, infused with that power bait goodness scent so those bass hold on longer and if you guys like the Kitex look at here the power swimmer Kitex style ribs with power bait this one is the 4.3 blue chartreuse you know I'm gonna put that on the back of a hog farmer guys Berkeley has got some awesome awesome baits but a lot of guys don't know about these new swim baits McKee Outdoors has them here at the show. I'm going to pick me up a couple packs and take home. Definitely going to do a good review on that. Let's go see some more booths. Now I've made my way over to K9 Fishing. Oh my gosh, I almost throat punched this guy. K9 Fishing, you've seen it on my channel several times, makes line. Uh, they make the original K9 uh, line, which is a fluorocarbon based line. And now they have a new K9 100% fluorocarbon has way less stretch than the original and i've always said 
The original is great for reaction baits and stuff like that. It's got a little bit of stretch in it. And then they've got the new 100% uh, K9 fluorocarbon. Behind me is Kelly Albert. He is the owner, a good friend of mine, and I'm going to have him explain in detail a little bit more about his line. All right, Kevin. Thanks for coming and visiting us. Big show. Glad you took your time to come visit. You, I know you know the original K9 fluoro. Basically, the market said we were sick of memory in a fluorocarbon line, so basically we took a fluorocarbon line, we added nylon particles, Basically, as soon as you couple casts, put a little tension on it, the memory's gone. And this could be three, four months after you even have it on a reel. It's the lowest memory line you'll ever put on, which obviously low memory works great on spinning reels. Uh, but we've got our Kentucky Lake ledge fishermen, Pickwick, Chickamauga, all the Tennessee River boys do a lot of ledge fishing with big shaky heads. Stretch doesn't work too well out on the deep ledges. They wanted the best 100% fluorocarbon that they could get their hands on with minimal stretch, maximum sensitivity. We came out with the Pro 100. It's basically the cream of the crop. We, we went to Japan and pulled the best resin we could find to make this Pro 100. Everyone that's come over and tested it, nothing but re Ray reviews so far, not one complaint yet. So I think we hit a home run with the Pro 100. So what we like to say is if it's a contact bait on the bottom, shaky heads, football heads, doesn't matter what, use the Pro 100. If it's a moving bait where you want a little give, that give helps with crank baits and such. It helps them get the hooks. Instead of hooking them on the back hook, we're getting them with both hooks with this line right here. So that's pretty much it. And obviously <laughs> there are many other uses. We've got the original K9, the Pro 100, and I think we've got about the best braid made too. It's a real tight weave, eight strand braid, no guide noise, and super strength. Kevin, thanks for coming over. All right, guys, y'all heard it from my man, Kelly Albert with K9 Fishing. He just explained all about his line to you. So check him out, K9Fishing.com. I believe that's his website. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure you tell him the bait man sent you. And what he forgot to tell you, dude, the prices on his line are awesome. You're going to save a lot of money and catch a lot of janks using canine line. My battery is about to go dead, but I am with a legend in the rod building category. This is Billy Kistler, and he has a new series of rods, his own design, his own rods. It's called American Pride. So I'm going to get him to explain his new rods with you. They are super light and super sensitive. All right, I'm Billy Kistler. I'm up here in Knoxville, uh, putting my American Pride rods out for the first time in this area. I've been building rods for 36 years now. I was the co-founder, president of All Star, founder of Castaway. I helped my son get started, and now I'm doing American Pride. As always, I'm, I stay American. I'm almost, uh, I'm 100% American as much as I can be. I use Gary Loomis's North Fork Composite Blanks. I use Fuji's high-end reel seats and their guides and Super A cork. And the finish, the builders that, I've, that I'm using, I've, I've been using them off and on for 36 years. So we build quality for the, let's say, the serious fishermen. And here at uh, Knoxville, I've never seen so many people. We're doing uh, surprisingly well. And look forward, maybe y'all come out here. We'll be here today and tomorrow. Come out and take a look at our product. I think you will be pleasantly surprised at what we've put out there for you guys. How's that? Sure, tell me a little bit about your rods and your stuff right here. Okay. Well, we try to stay as much technique, technique specific as we can. As an example, here's a drop shot magic. This rod tells the fisherman that it's for drop shotting. And then we go to uh, jerk bait. We have a jerk bait rod. It tells you See, there to, to use jerk bait on this. It doesn't mean you can't use a spinner bait, but it's built to be jerk bait. And then we have a zip tie, uh, put it on a boat rail. Top water no, rod. Like that, that, I've been building the same top water rod since about 1983 or four. Same mandrel. The only thing that's changed is the materials have gotten lighter and stronger. Uh, we have frog rods. We have Carolina rig 
flipping uh, we're, we're technique specific and the rod you pick it up and look at the label it tells you what what it's best for not that it can't be for other things but i tell you what it's best for all right guys i have rolled over to one of the best electronic gurus in the country high-tech outdoors they do lots of setups for flw Bassmaster, and major league fishing pros uh, Matt Quinn, the owner, he is an absolute guru with electronics from Lawrence, Humminbird, and now Garmin. And he's also a retailer of Shimano, Loomis Rods around Kentucky Lake. Awesome store, so when you're uh, my area, you need to come by. But I'm going to roll through this booth real quick. Uh, obviously, a lot of people are getting educated on the new Humminbird units, uh, the new Garmin stuff. And, uh, dude. I hope I can get in the boat with Matt this year and we can teach you guys how to set up your units from Lawrence uh, to Humminbird and Garmin because he knows everything. And we're going to roll over here and look at these right here. These are the precision sonar mounts that you can get from High Tech Outdoors. Uh, no matter what kind of boats you got, they got these heavy duty mounts. Uh, they're going to keep your depth finder from slipping, from moving. You can set it in your dash off to the side. They've got something for you. Uh, you can rig it up install it right there they've got true professional installers it's not like going to your buddy rick over there it's got a set of craftsman tools and a mig welder they've got the real deal uh, but they will answer any of your sonar questions and i've got austin here with precision sonar and i'm going to flip this over to him and he's going to tell you a little bit more about these brackets my name's austin i'm a sales manager at precision sonar we're going to start off with our console plates Basically, we get the CAD drawings in. This is a Ranger L, brand new. We get the CAD drawings in from Ranger, and it's an exact layover of the console. This is set up for a dual mount. So even down to the brackets, we do not use the factory brackets that come with the unit. We have our own patented smart brackets. We've got two cable access holes for both units, and even with a marine grade grommet, and then you've got your disc. Your disc is what locks your unit in. Even down to the disc, these are two, if not three times thicker than the factory bracket and they're interchangeable. So these are set up for Lowrance. If you get a Hummingbird unit, you do not have to get a brand new console mount. You just have to switch out the disc, that's it. And also it's made out of quarter inch aircraft aluminum. It's the toughest, 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 toughest mount on the market. Virtually indestructible. If there's anything you need, don't hesitate to give us a call. Precision Sonar, 270-703-6133. And again, my name's Austin. Do y'all gotta check this out behind me. This is uh, Matt Quinn, he's the owner of High Tech's collection of old school depth finders. I want to know how many of my subs know about these. <laughs> who, who used to have this Lawrence right here? I, I really, I would be a bottom shelf guy. I might have had one of those. I, I grew up on the X22, X17, X15 Lawrence, and now of course we're into side scan and everything. But dude, this is this is cool. This is vintage. You're not going to see that everywhere. How you doing guys? This is Matt Quinn with High Tech Outdoors. We've got the HDS Live product here. We're showing it here at the East Tennessee Fishing Show. What we do is we got a new CMAP technology that's allowing us to do depth highlighting. This is an example of Gunnersville Lake right now in Alabama. And basically what we're able to do is actually do depth shading. So we got red at five feet, we got green at 10 feet, we got a little bit of yellow or a brownish color at 20 feet, and then the rest of it's dark blue. So we can really see these creek channels that go back into the back of these bays and also be able to target our fish. It's been a great product. We've, we've seen a lot of people come that were very interested in this product, and uh, it, it's, really gonna, it's really gonna change the way mapping is done on the HDS system. The other thing that it's really going to do is it's going to give us the ability to sell this product on Kentucky Lake in two weeks. Our sea map has just been recently mapped. Our lake has been mapped and we're going to have this on Kentucky Lake starting in two weeks and you can get them at High Tech Outdoors. Dude, these new Lorances are legit. You can literally play Xbox on one. Two weeks sea map on Kentucky Lake. You guys better get on Matt's website, High Tech Outdoors. You can get everything from the depth finders, transducers, to any map card out there. They have awesome customer service. They are your Lowrance, your Humminbird, your now Garmin gurus. So hopefully, me and Matt will get together this spring, summer, and we're gonna teach you guys 
how to set up your sonars, even better so you can find bass. Back here at the Hog Farmer booth, but I have ran into Chickamauga legend YouTuber, Bass Quest, Caleb What's over at Bass up? Quest. <laughs> so there's a lot of Tennessee river knowledge right here. You know, oh, yeah. I've, I've got the north end covered. We've got the middle section. Yep, yep. All we need is Mikey Balls now to get the south end out, right? Dude, me and Mikey and you, we got to get together and catch some janks. We got to introduce dude, Mikey dude. to the janks. Yeah. But yep. Uh, Mikey already knows a lot of the janks by name. He just doesn't know what to call them yet. Right. Uh, <laughs> that dude can sack them. What has he caught? Like 40 pounds and five fish? 49 pounds was the biggest bag he's caught, and that was last year. Almost On 50. video. On video. So, Mikey is an OG, and I really respect him. But Caleb yeah. just started doing some live streaming the other night, and hey, he was yeah. breaking down Lake Chickamauga. Dude, it was the mo one of the most informational things I've watched in a long time. Uh, I'd love to break down Kentucky Lake, but. I don't know if you got any haters for doing that, but Dude, there would yeah. be some people who want to set my house on fire if I did that for Kentucky Lake. But I might could break down some bays well, the and basic areas. things. You know, go over like depth of the lake, how the lake fishes top to bottom, you know, river sections versus more lake right. section, ledge sections. You don't have to get too detailed with it. But uh, Caleb's here. What are here? the good ramps that are safe to put in it? <laughs> right, right. You know? uh, we got to have ramps that are Asian carp safe now. Yeah, it's come. crazy on our lake. But. See, I don't. We need to keep that away from me. I don't want none of that in my leg. We're trying our best. But uh, <laughs> check Caleb out, his company, Bass Attitude Fishing. This shirt is awesome. I've oh, done yeah. a little graphing. You need to do some graphing. He does graphing. And we might have some cool, cooler apparel coming. Maybe a jank shirt. We'll see. That's right. But uh, check out his channel, Bass Quest. Uh, check out Bass Attitude Clothing. Follow him on Instagram. I'm going to have a few more boots to go by. And I'm going home. I love you guys, but I'm going to go home. All right, guys, I'm trying to wind down this evening. I have went around everywhere in the show and looked at the coolest of the cool. And uh, I'm at a booth that's got a brand new product. And these guys are called Tackle HD. What they do is basically 3D scan stuff. And they have the most realistic crawfish uh, you have ever seen. I'm going to pick one up right here. They're so upset they didn't come with this. I'm surprised this thing didn't just scurry across the table. This looks like. If you pulled out a crawfish under a rock, it would look just like this. Now, they got several different colors. They even make one that you can doctor up yourself. Uh, but you're smallmouth guys, put these things on a football head. Oh, but uh, they also got uh, this right here, which, is, which ah, I just hooked, I just hooked myself. But uh, it's like a big uh, elegramite, and uh, dude, this thing looks awesome as well. But I tell you what, I'm gonna have one of the guys from Tackle HD go ahead and tell you a little bit about the company and where to buy them from. This is Ben Hill with Tackle HD, and we're here at the East Tennessee Fishing Expo. Uh, this is our first time at the show, and we couldn't be more thrilled. We've actually sold out of several of our color colors and all of our jig heads in the 5 16 ounce size. So we're really killing it down here. We're glad to be here. We're already booked for next year, so come see us. But now, we're here to display our High Duff Cross. This is the most realistic, 3D scanned, lifelike bait you're ever gonna see on the market. Down to the minute details of the claw, you can see the shell marks on the claws. That's how realistic these baits are. Now we made the best bait in the world, then we had to make a jig head that it worked on. We tried every jig head there is on the market and couldn't find one to make this bait work the way we wanted it to. So we came up with our Stealth HD jig head. It's a football head style design, but if you see, we have 45 degree beveled edges all the way around that helps this thing glide through rock and make this bait stand in that prone position every single time. And I'm gonna rig this for everybody real quick because we get this question all the time. Double wire weed guard that we get out of the way, run this hook right through the tail, and you wanna bring it out straight as you can right to the center of this bait. We have two bait keepers so you really got to cram this baby home. As you can see, cram her home, flip the tails up, bend these back, and you're ready to fish. What do you think of that? And I'll throw it in the water here in a second. Now we also have, we've had it out for about a month now, is our HD Helgramite. We 3D laser scanned a Helgramite and made this bait a little longer for the action, which I'll show you here in a minute in the tank, but we paired it with our MF stand-up head. Same 
design is on our stealth head, but it's on a stand-up head. So the way we rig this is put that Helger mite right on that pin, dead center, start twisting. You get one twist in, it's already on, but you gotta run that all the way up to the head. You get it up there and get her snug. Turn it around and see where that hook, you want it to go through that bait, which is right about there. So we're gonna grab it, run that bait through right there, bring it up, and there you go. Straight as a string, weedless, catch a lot of fish. So thanks for hanging with us at East Tennessee. Let me show you real quick. Let's look, look in the tank. So this is the Helger mite I was just showing you on our stand-up head, the MF stand-up head. That's our black purple flake, which we call Dark 30, and it works just like a Helger mite. That's exactly what a Helger mite does. And then you see our craw, most, real, most realistic craw on the market, and you're gonna see the lifelike action that thing has and how that head makes it stand up perfectly every time. So we appreciate you guys. Check us out on TackleHD.com and look for new things to come. We appreciate your time. All right, guys, this is the last booth I'm gonna visit. This is Bag 5 Custom Painting. My buddy Mike Russell, he's the owner, and uh, his buddy Randy over here helps him paint. Not flowers, just normal Randy. But uh, he makes some of the best looking paint jobs out there. In my opinion, is the best custom painter out there. And that's no offense to anyone. There's lots of great guys, so I'll just be honest, I'm biased because we're good friends. And he makes an amazing chartreuse and purple. And we all know I love chartreuse and purple, but he's also one of the best at making craw patterns on crankbaits. So I'm gonna let Mike talk to you guys for just a minute, then I'm gonna get in the black goat and I'm gonna load up, head back to Western Kentucky. Hi, right, this is Mike Russell from Bag Five Baits. I'm a custom painter based out of Benton, Kentucky. I live right on Kentucky Lake on the Tennessee River. I am a designer for Berkeley. I also design some of the best crawdads which people believe or they've seen in the country. If you ever have any questions, you can look me up on my Facebook page, Bag 5 Baits, Instagram under Mike at Bag 5 Baits, or even look at my website, www.bag5baits.com. Guys, I am tired. I'm beat. East Tennessee Fishing Sh Expo. Well, I can't even say it. The East Tennessee Fishing Expo is unreal. But I have got to go home. Look at here. The Best Quest is still hanging out here. The Best Quest family. <laughs> I've got to go home, and uh, I was going to stay an extra day, but I've kind of seen everything I need to see, and uh, I'm just going to ride down I-40 to I-24, get up there to Kentucky Lake, and I'm going to get some more videos done for you guys, and uh, work on the website. So if you haven't been on my website, it's thebaitman.com, the-baitman.com, and check out uh, the reviews and articles, I got a lot of reviews and articles coming the next week or so. Uh, so, thanks for joining watching the video. Subscribe if you like it. Go Big Orange.